Okay, Matt, this is Dennis. Uh, it's about 5 o'clock on Monday. I'm going to send your video for a review, and then uh, you're going to have to tell the others in the group that they need to get me their email ASAP so I can um, get their uh, video to them. Email and sell would be best. I don't have your sell listed for some reason, or I'd give you a call. You guys are probably on the course, uh, but we're... Um, if you can get that to me, if not, um, since you've already played for the day, I could get it to you first thing in the morning, but if they can get it to me tonight, great. Say before nine. All right. So let's see here. Um, So this is where we're, we're in trouble with the pitching. It is going inside too soon. Uh, it should work its way up the shaft plane. And this is basically flat. So right now this club is pretty well laid off the line there. Okay, so we've got to, that's why I have you set your wrist a little bit earlier because they got to get you above that plane line. Now, some of this, like I was saying to you today, may come from the fact that you're trying to transition flatter. We've been working on that for a while. The other thing I would do, uh, Matt, here is to work on your swing to say that that should be plenty. You've always had that extra uh, couple of inches with your turn um, and going across the line. Like, like none of that is necessary for mid iron, you know, and the face is also pretty closed. So I'm getting a little bit concerned about the hook shot now because I, I can see that creeping in and then it's going to get progressively worse if we don't go ahead and fix that. So you're going to work it up the plane a little bit more. That, that club is just too far behind you there. Um, see, it's pretty deep behind you too. Like if I go here... There's only maybe one degree of the angle, be your halfway back angle with your, your hands and your club. That should be like seven or eight. So um, you've, you've got to get, we definitely have to work the backswing a little more upright. And I know that doesn't go in line with thinking about transitioning a little flatter, but that is where you're stuck right now. You're stuck inside too far. And so uh, we're going we're gonna to pick up on that tomorrow. A little shorter. Now, the thing that we've done, you know, the most work on, I would say, is your transition because it used to be a lot steeper. Right? It used to be a lot steeper, and uh, now it's coming down um, much better, really. Much better. So that's in a good spot there. But what we have to watch is right here, you don't get it under. Now, this one's not that under. But it's there, there it's under. That's dangerously close to coming too far from the inside and too much under the plane. And that's why, you know, we're going to keep working the turn through as much as anything this week once we get that club outside. So tomorrow I'm going to put some aim sticks behind you or the... Uh, bender stick behind you with that yellow ball and try to get you to work it up a little bit more and through. That's also why you're aiming five to seven yards right of your target because the ball is turning over more than we want it. That's where it would come from in there. So your movements are good. It's just a little out of sync with you're stuck so far inside that it's a an attempt at recovery, you know. And I, and I want to get you out of that as much as possible. Beauty. And one driver.
So there, there's what I'm talking about in terms of the little, you see where you're closed here, your feet line is, is, is closed. And then it's, uh, so let's look at this guy here. You, uh, before we left there, I hope it continued on the course. You really hit some bombs. It is moving, believe it or not. I'm, I'm keeping it super slow just because I want to get the first few feet here. So your feet are just a little closed. The shoulders are fairly square. And it's got to be set earlier. That's that's all there is to it. We've got to get the wrist set earlier. And again, your halfway back point is almost the same as your shaft point. So again, I'm going here. You know, it's almost the same, huh? So that should be about up six degrees and a little bit more in the center of your body. And even with the driver, I don't think it would hurt us to kind of call that a full swing. It really is. It's a little shut at the top. And that's why I weakened your grip a little bit last time. And I think the private lesson when you came down, but that's more shut than you wanted, especially if you're coming from inside and you're, you know, you're not clearing enough. That's really long too, man. See that? That's where before when we were starting with the with the the transition being steep, that was causing it. But you're dropping it back in pretty good now on a on a much better plane. You know, that club at one time it was coming down from your shoulder there. Let's see, because you're getting under. And, and pretty hard from the inside, you have to bail out there a little bit. Yeah, I like to get rid of some of that lower body extension, and I think the only way we can do that is if we get a little bit more straight with the path into the ball and not stuck so far inside. See how you're raising the handle? That's generally to give it room to get through. So, so let's look at it this way. I mean, if we get a little shorter and a little tighter, get it back more in front of you so that we can turn through better, I think we're, we're doing the, the job for the week. Um, but again, you know, you're playing at four or five handicap. So, I mean, we're in the fine tune zone here. Just remember to don't let your hands drift too far to the right because you do have a habit of gripping it too strong and closing your stance, which is only natural. Now we come to the release point, which I think is, you know, that's your, that's your uh, golf journey, really. The release point is just early. Now, mine was never real late either, but when I was younger and more supple, I, I used to get out of the road enough that I could play. But, see, that's pretty early, and that's very early. So if you can, now that you're back to playing a little bit, if you can start working on keeping this angle just a hair longer, I mean, it doesn't have to look like Sergio or Ben Hogan, but just a hair longer would be less closing of this face coming over. See, it's already got some hook on it. The club's looking over there already. So the objective here would be to get you to impact uh, when your hands are at your left side. Because at that point, we're already broke down. I'm trying to turn you through the ball. Okay, so uh, I had to take a pause there for a minute, but I'm back. And uh, I'm just trying to get you to turn more and face it, right? Uh, 
it's the same thing with your pitching too. I don't want to break it down that soon. By the time your left, well, let me show you. By the time that left arm gets over to the left side of your body there, I'd really like to get that club in line with it if I could, but that's just, uh, well, take a look at this. Let's just go here. Who do I have from the side? Um, well, young Rory. This will work. So you see your left arm, it's right on your left side here, right? Well, when his arm gets to his left side here, he's completely in line with the club. That's like maximum control over the club. That's some blending of the body and the arms. Now, you're not going to get there. Let's no, no club golfer does. But I'm saying that's what we should strive for. That's too much. At this point where your hands are by your left pocket, your club is already in line with your left arm, your right arm. Right? So for you, that's turning over too much. Now your buddy Rob there, he does it and he just sent, he just sends it skyrocketing. So, so that's what I'd like to do is get the club in line with your arms a little longer so we could just really get this turn through part. It never really breaks down for him, but uh, that's that's the point I'm trying to get with this early release. You know, it would help a lot. And we talked about this before in your game, too. The, the early release is also the reason why you run ahead of the ball. Because if you didn't, you're really going to hurt yourself. By, by, and that's, that's never as predictable as we want it to be. So I'm thinking we're going to work on two things. Getting the club back a little bit more in front of you, working on a better turn through. And um, I've got to give you some lag drills. I've really got to start working lag into your game because I think we could get you down to scratch if you get enough time to play and you get some more you get some more lag. But there's not you're always going to have days of ball striking and sometimes pitching, which are going to be iffy with that move right there. So I'm going to try to get, you know, a little bit more lag. I've got a couple drills and a couple little things that we'll do to just feel like a little more retention there and uh, we'll take it from there. We'll see, that's a good swing. I mean, you've got a good golf swing. We're just trying to tweak it here a little bit and uh, get you there just a little bit earlier. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, so if you tell those guys to send me their uh, email and sell. I'll get them out for sure.